Hey guys, Tech128 here. Today I want to show you this MacBook Pro. This is a 13 inch non retina 2012 MacBook Pro 13. And it must have a swollen battery. I don't know if you can see this here, but the trackpad is popping out. And this is much worse. When I got this computer, this was just tight. It wasn't, it wouldn't click very well. But now you can actually see it's uh, pushing out of the case. So I just noticed this today and I'm going to get this flipped over, finish getting the cover off. You can see I started to take the cover off already and uh, get that battery out of there. So I have a number of the screws out already and it actually looks like there's a lot of pressure on the case already. So hopefully the battery didn't bend the case and I'm, I'm hoping the battery didn't leak and I, I don't like the way that's popping off there already. Now I got this computer for free so I really can't complain. Okay, there we go. Got the last screw out and that's real tight. Look at that battery. That's really dangerous. I got to get this thing out of here right away. All right, I think this is the cable holding on the battery, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go look it up and make sure I understand how to remove the battery and then I'm going to get it out. And I got to be really careful. I hope this thing hasn't ruptured anywhere. Um, I certainly don't want it to leak on me. Actually, it looks like this battery was screwed in and a tab already broke off here. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just went and I watched the uh, OWC YouTube video about taking the battery out and it says you lift up on these tabs. I'm using a plastic pry tool. Okay, that's out. Now, the next thing you're supposed to do is unscrew the battery from the two corners, but you can see here the battery swelled and it actually cracked the two tabs off this. So now I should just be able to lift the battery out, but I'm hoping it's not so swelled that I can't get it off past these points here. You can see that's really bad. That's really swollen. This is really dangerous right now because if this leaks, this could cause a fire. So I'm glad I got this out of the computer. Let me just go set this down someplace safely. All right, now, hopefully this didn't bend the MacBook casing too badly. And I'm gonna flip this back over. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put the, the back cover down like that. You know what, maybe I'll just use a towel. I don't want to damage anything here. I'm gonna flip this out like that. And let's see if the trackpad has recovered. Oh yeah, definitely. You can see now the trackpad has just snapped back into place and it's actually clicky now before this wouldn't click at all and I hadn't used the computer in a while and I opened it up today and you saw what it looked like this was actually swelling out because of the battery so I'm gonna need a new battery for this computer all right guys I think that's gonna be it I just wanted to show you uh, this MacBook Pro and what the swollen battery looked like I thought the MacBook Pro might have a swollen battery and that's why the uh, trackpad was stuck. And then obviously today when I opened it up, it was uh, in a really, really bad state. So I'm glad I got that old battery out. I'm gonna see if I can get that recycled today. I'll do another video when I order a new battery and put that in. And then uh, maybe I'll do a full refurb on this MacBook Pro. The bottom plate needs a foot. And you can see I put an SSD in here. I, there was no hard drive in this when I got it. 
and it didn't have the mounting screw. So since it's an SSD and it's pretty light, I just used gaffer tape to hold it in place and that seems to be working fine. But if I have to order the new battery and the foot, I might as well just order a set of screws for mounting in the drive. And then I'll have this 2012 MacBook Pro 13 completely refurbished. And I even have a set of DIMMs from my old 2011 MacBook Pro, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I may try and update this to 16 gigabytes of RAM as well, since I have those two DIMMs anyway. If you're interested, let me know, and maybe I'll do another video on the uh, upgrade as well. All right, that's going to be it for now, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.